And in terms of like mindset and mentality and things like that, you to me, you seem very focused, very disciplined, which is something I resonate with as well. And do you, what do you credit for that? Do you have like a meditation practice or certain mantras in your head? Yeah. What? Yeah. What's your approach to mindset and mentality? Great question, bro. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. I really like your questions. Um, so I practice Kundalini yoga on, used to be on a daily basis. It used to be twice a day actually, but now it's maybe three to four times a week. And that's my main meditation grounding spiritual practice, right? So I've been practicing that consistently for about four years now. It's been one of the most potent and powerful practices in my life by far. And um, to give just, I guess, a better understanding and overview of what Kundalini Yoga is, for those who may not be familiar, it's considered to be the most potent form of yoga, right? So it allows us to activate the dormant life force energy that it sits dormant in the base of our spine, right? Also known as the root chakra. And through dynamic breathing, movements, and mantras, you activate this dormant life force energy, also known as kundalini, also known as chi, right? And you allow it to, <clears throat> excuse me, flow upwards uh, through, you know, up the spine and throughout the body, right? And this produces um, almost a... Uh, a feeling of being more alive and awake, right? It's it's definitely energizing, but not in a way like like caffeine or anything like that. It's more just like you're awake, you're alert, but at the same time, you're calm, right? And in terms of focus and my overall calm demeanor, that has been a huge proponent or a huge cause of that, right, is, is my continuous kundalini practice. And of course, outside of that comes, you know, a, a deeper spiritual connection. Also, a lot of, you know, working through emotions, right? Suppressed emotions and stuff that we haven't dealt with. It it really allows us to deal, deal with what we need to deal with in a very direct way, right? Whereas if more of the stretch-based relaxing yogas, right, um, those are you see the effects of those more over time with Kundalini yoga. After one potent session, you will definitely feel the effects. It is super, super potent, but it's also super um, accessible and super, you know, uh, somewhat easy to do. Right. Um, I, it's, it's easy for me to say that because I've been doing it for four years, but even when I started, I realized like, okay, I, I don't necessarily need to be super flexible. I don't need to hold poses for like three to four minutes, like some of the other forms of yoga. Um, I can literally sit, you know, in a comfortable seated position, expand my body, right? So expand my chest and contract my chest while doing these breathing techniques, right? This ry- rhythmic breathing technique. Um, and literally within a short amount of time, even if you do it for 10 to 15 minutes, man, mm-hmm. For me, that's similar to doing like a two-hour um, yin or relaxing stretch-based yoga yeah. session, right? So, so, yeah, that's been my main yeah, practice. Yeah, sounds really interesting. Sure. I've heard Chris Kendall uh, recently talk about it as well. So just say I want to get started or a viewer wants to get started. What would you recommend? Do you have like a set video you go to or a set routine? Like, How, how does someone get started with it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of... There are a lot of organizations and um, a lot of people who, you know, are pra- been practicing, have been teaching Kundalini Yoga for years and years. Um, there's a lot of ways to get started. I got started through a, um, I guess you can call them an organization, through uh, a group by the name of Life Force Academy, right? And they are, uh, they basically offer online courses, classes, even even teacher training certifications through their website, lifeforceacademy.com. And it's led by, you know, a very dope dude, cool individual. Um, someone I look up to, his name is Jai Dave. And um, that's how I got started. That's how I got introduced to it. Um, I'm actually currently, so I've been 
I've been teaching breath work and even Kundalini yoga locally for maybe about a year. Um, but I'm actually currently, as of tomorrow, starting a teacher training uh, certification program for myself to really dive deep into the basics or the foundation of yoga. So um, I'm really excited for that because that's going to really expand my knowledge outside of the you know, consistent practice that I've do been doing, which I feel um, provided me with you know, the confidence and the assurity to actually lead others through that practice as well. But now I'm, you know, really diving even deeper to expand my yoga practice beyond Kundalini and get more into like vinyasa and Hatha yoga as well. So, um, but if you would like a quick and I would say very informative, um, tutorial on how to do a three to five minute yoga training session, I can provide you one. I have a video tutorial that I provide to people. And um, basically, if you follow me on my Instagram, Noor's Plant Life, and send me a DM with the word breath, I can provide you with that uh, tutorial um, that will basically, the tutorial is maybe 15 to 20 minutes long. So I dive deep into how to do it, why we're doing it, et cetera. But the actual exercise is three to five minutes long, okay. right? So um okay. Yeah, that's a great way to start. It's very simple, very easy, and uh, you know, it doesn't require much yeah, time. Yeah, I'll, I'll be hitting you up for that. I think <laughs> sounds interesting, man. Yeah. 